Hi guys, this is Simeon. I'm just out here in the forest. I just filmed today's video. This is gonna be a bonus video for you guys because you asked some questions about the clearing saw and so on. And I'm just gonna give you some extra information here for those of you guys who want it. Um, some asked the tree stumps, how high you cut them and so on. And um, some other questions I hope to be able to answer. So some of you guys asked how high I would want the tree stumps to be. And you know that really depends on where you are. Um, if you are working on a field, um, you know, you really want to cut them quite low. But even that can be very dangerous for your animals. So you have to really see and think about what you do there. Um, if you cut them, you know, in sharp angles and, very, you know, not the right way, that can really hurt your animals when they step on them. Uh, when you're in the forest, you, you just want to make high stumps, or not crazy high, but you don't want to cut too close to the ground because that's just going to make your blade dull right away. Um, all the soil and dirt and whatever you might have from raindrops splashing against the tree, if you get a kickback, you're right away in the dirt and uh, it's just horrible. So um, actually, uh, the clearing saw with the blade on it um, usually is shorter here. So if you, if you hold this, you know, it, it's shorter. You, you would have to bend over more to reach the ground. Now, um, also if you want to buckle this in, ideally you want to have it with the balance so that the saw blade is just, uh, you know, um, four, to t four to eight inches about above the ground, um, rightly balanced. Of course, it's going to vary uh, depending on how much gas you have in the tank. Um, then you have also the options, you know, when once you learn your saw and work, to 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 a certain degree, um, you know, be able to influence in what direction you want this brush to fall. That's very important and very tight for us. Now here I'm standing at a spot that we have worked through and thinned through with chainsaws before and chipped the wood even. But um, you, you, when you see this young hazelnut bush here, if you wanted to cut this down now, um, depending on what side and, and with what movements you would cut into this, you can really um, influence in what direction you want it to fall. Now that can be very helpful if you want to bundle it up and gather it together and get it out of there. For example, if you want to clear a field. If everything just falls in different directions, that would be very difficult. So I'm just going to give you a quick... Um, quick demonstration here. Um, also show you, because once you have this thing um, hanging here, um, it's not so easy to take it off all the time and get it started, but once your saw is warm, um, I'll just show you real quick a way how you can start the saw. You have it all bundled up like this. Obviously, you know, when the tree is leaning, that's going to be more difficult when the bushes are leaning, but you can do it like that. Um, now, you might not have the opportunity to do the swing kind of movement to get a little pressure on the tree to fall over, but even with the way the blade is spinning, if you are in a thick forest with lots of underbrush, the underbrush tends to be rather tall and skinny. Just you know, when I cut it off, it hits the blade and it throws away at the bottom and kind of leans that direction. Where we use this mainly is, you know, either when we want to do some chainsaw work and there's lots of underbrush um, in the way, we just go through it with the clearing saw first. Um, otherwise, you know, that that's what I just modeled here. I'm taking away hazelnuts and stuff like that if you want to come in with machines or even if they're on the way for the chainsaw work. Otherwise, you know, when there are young forests, uh, this would be too big, this would be too old, this would be definitely chainsaw work and we would either make firewood or already sell, um, you know, probably the first two pieces of lumber off of this to the paper manufacturer. But um, we, we go into younger forests and, and, you know, if you do this a couple times when the forest is young, um, you really can increase both the quality and the speed um, of how you're 
um, forest grows. So um, it's a really helpful tool uh, on the homestead. So I hope you enjoyed this little bonus video. Thanks for watching guys. I see you.